Hey everybody, it's Dina Rico with the Creativity Cave. I am so excited to stamp with you today because I have this adorable, super sweet, and just a little sparkly baby card for you. I think it's just so cute. So it was really easy to make. So let me show you how I put it together. First of all, I will be starting with a piece of crumb cake cardstock and if you go to my blog, the link is in the description of this video, you can see all the details, photos, supplies, measurements, colors, etc, etc, etc. And you can um, also shop my online store because that helps me bring more amazing videos to you. Alright, so I folded my card in half and I'm going to just go right ahead and bring in a scrap piece of paper. I'm going to stamp this in basic gray and the reason is because I think basic gray is a little bit more subtle than like black full-on black so that's how I picked that and um, here's my stamp so I will just stamp this on a piece of watercolor paper that I have cut with the stitched shapes framelits Okay, so isn't that cute? Oh my gosh, so cute. And then I'm gonna let that dry for a second. I also cut a scalloped oval from the layering ovals uh, framelit set. Okay, then I have my card base that I will stamp the background with crumb cake on crumb cake. So crumb cake ink on crumb cake cardstock. And what I'm going to do is just kind of stamp some hello babies going across you know in all different directions and whatnot and I'm leaving a little bit of space because I'm gonna fill in with some stars as well and these are all this all these stamps are from the same moon baby stamp set which let me show you because it's just so sweet oh my gosh I actually was at a baby shower this weekend and oh my goodness babies Oh, I haven't been around any too many babies lately, but oh, they're so sweet. So Moon Baby, this is the image. And then there's a single star. There's a triple star. There's a baby with an umbrella and a baby in the moon. Look at its little butt. Oh, sorry. I can't help it. Babies and puppies. I mean, really, is there anything cuter? Probably not. All right. So I've got my background done. But there's one thing I'm going to add to it. I have my clear wink of Stella, and I'm going to color the stars. Now, when you look at this, it's all dark, but it's going to dry normal light with just the shimmer. Um, and I have to tell you, on my wink of Stella, I was about out of it. So I opened it up, and I'm going to show you this in a minute. I opened it up. And I kind of scraped the shimmer stuff off the sides back into the container and then I added um, some rubbing alcohol not a ton but just enough to kind of keep the ball rolling a little longer with this and that really is has extended the life of my um, I need one more star that's really extended the life of my my shimmer because I go through a lot of this I'm not gonna lie so and I put a little I put a gold star on here with a sharpie marker just so I knew that I had done that to this but to do that all that you do is you undo unscrew the top set that aside pull this thing out whatever this stopper thing is and then under here I found all, all the shimmer was kind of caked up and it sort of has again so I'm scraping it off I'm scraping those edges off so that it goes back down into the container and I mean I think there is a definitely a lifespan on this but this will just extend it a little bit longer so nice stick it back in there put it back together now I would have added the um, rubbing alcohol as I mentioned but I've already done that so that's how I did that okay back to my card let's do a little water coloring so I'm going to use my aqua painter for coloring this and whenever I watercolor 
I really like to have like a little towel rag, paper towel, whatever. This is a dark, an uh, old diaper, a cloth diaper slash burp rag, whatever, from when my kids were babies. That's what I like to use. Um, it's just so easy to clean your uh, aqua painter off and get the water flowing and all of that in here versus all over your scrap paper. Okay, so let me get, I need to open up a few more colors of ink. I'm going to use Pink Pirouette So Saffron Soft Sky and Smoky Slate to do the coloring. And I'm just adding little touches of color. There's not a ton of coloring on this one, as you probably can kind of tell. Um, I did do the background in Soft Sky, which looks really pretty. And then I did the arms and legs of the lamb in Smoky Slate. Now, I think you could certainly do other combinations of colors with this. Um, you, I just like these colors because they were kind of pretty baby colors. I was actually thinking about putting mint macaron, which is not my favorite color, I'm not going to lie. But I, I was okay with what I had. All right, so I'll do my stars in So Saffron. Because what other color would you do your star in? Especially when you have a So Saffron thingy there. Okay, then for my, for the pink, I'm going to do little pink cheeks on my lamb. Because it's just so cute. And little pink cheeks on my bunny. And I suppose I could even do pink cheeks on my bear, but I didn't. And I'm going to do kind of the inside of the ears in pink. And then um, I did the whole bunny in pink too, the bunny body. So that again is pink pirouette. Very sweet. And then what else do I need? Oh, I need crumb cake for my sweet little bear. So I'll open that up and do my sweet little bear with crumb cake. So I left the face part, the, that little circle part, I left that um, white. And then the ears, I suppose I could have put pink in the ears, that would have been cute. I don't know. This isn't the most complicated of watercoloring projects, to be completely honest. Now, I think that looks cute, but when I was making this, I'm like, it needs a little something else. So if you look at mine, do you see I did Soft Sky all through the background, and that really makes everything else pop. You want to make sure things are dry before you do that so you don't have bleeding, but I think that will work pretty well. So let me close up a couple of these just so they're out of the way, and then I'll do the Soft Sky because it's really easy. Okay, so I'm going to pick that color up and just start spreading it around. And here is the beauty of watercolor paper is it just blends perfectly and it's easy to control the intensity. If it's too dark, you can certainly take color away. And if it's too light, you can add it much better than on any other kind of cardstock. Shimmery white is okay, but um, generally, like Whisper White or Very Vanilla does not work very well with this because the paper just can't stand up to the the coloring action. It'll pill or be icky. Those are my official terms. Icky. So I'm going all the way around the image, or the oval, but all the images. And I'm going pretty much just right up to the, the little um, stitch lines. I'm not going over that, but it's so pretty. Now I have another fun little thing I'm gonna do to this when I go to put it together on my card. That just makes everything kind of sweet. And that is, I'm going to add a little bit more shimmer. Okay, so doesn't that really make things pop? I know you don't see it quite that well because it's so pastel light colored, but trust me, it's happening. 
Okay, so now that I colored that, I'm going to pop it up on my um, on my oval. I've just got some edge pieces here I can use up. I think I'll use three. And just pop this up because it's sweet. And then I'll adhere it to my card right over the top. Okay, and I want to tie some. This is linen thread that I'm going to tie a bow on right over the top. A little bit. Goodness, I think I went from the wrong end on my linen thread, oh well. So I'm just going to tie a bow. So I'm sorry about the big burn on my hand. Um, it looks shiny because I have essential oils on there to try and calm it down. I was pulling lasagna out of the oven and I didn't have my, I had a pot holder instead of a mitt and let's just say next time Dina's going to use the mitt. I don't think my family appreciates my personal sacrifice for their well-being you know, food and whatnot. <laughs> anyway, it doesn't hurt, luckily. It's not bad. All right, so there's that. But now our last little thing that we're going to do. So the last little thing I'm going to do that's just cute is I'm going to take that Wink of Stella and I want to take and smack it against something. So I'm going to use my aqua painter here. Just anything you can tap it against. I've tried my finger, but it helps to have something a little sturdier that you can hold on to. At any rate, I'm going to just smack it against my card. Oops, against my aqua painter. And you can see that shimmer is coming out. And... Then I have sparkles all over my card. Isn't that awesome? Love it. So sweet. All right. So I hope you enjoyed this card. Again, check my blog or shop the links in the description of this video for more information. I always appreciate your business. I love stamping with you. Come on back and check it out later. And I have a Facebook Live today, which is Monday, February 13th at 10 a.m. Central Time. So if you catch that, join us for some awesome projects. And if you can't make it for the live, you can always catch the replay and get take advantage of all of the special awesomeness. Um, it's at my Facebook page, which is facebook.com forward slash creativity cave. There's no the. All right, guys. Have a great day. Bye.